The Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, helps feed 850,000 people in Alabama. SNAP benefits are especially critical to food insecure households. Um, really, uh, SNAP benefits are like the first line of defense uh, for combating hunger. Today, people on food stamps get their benefits on a payment card and buy the food they choose at the grocery store. The idea is to replace some of that money with a box of food from the government. The Harvest Box proposal would use a model similar to food banks like this one. Families would receive a box of shelf-stable food, items that won't go bad. The Trump administration calling this a new approach to nutrition assistance. It's an absolutely devastating proposed cut. Carol Gunlock works for Alabama Arise, a group that lobbies on behalf of low-income families. She says food boxes are not a new idea and remind her of the food rations of the 1960s. It does not feel like moving forward. In fact, it's moving backwards. It's moving in exactly the wrong direction. The USDA says the change would save taxpayers nearly $130 billion over the next 10 years and compares the program to food delivery companies. It's not a blue apron box. But those against the idea say it will hurt low-income families. They say this is not a time to think inside the box. Dan Odle, WVTM 13.